Welcome to my Days of Our Lives official channel. I hope everyone is having a wonderful day. Before we begin, please hit the subscribe button and give this video a thumbs up. Holly poses as Teresa, Jada Blast's homewrecker Stephanie Days of Our Lives reveals that Holly Jonas tried to tell Nicole DiMera that she was to condemn for what happened on New Year's Eve. Nicole claimed Holly was a victim and reflected on how she originally shut down any notion that the medicines could VE belong to Holly. Still, Nicole admitted she ultimately let Dubiety's creep in and set up herself wondering if she could VE been such a terrible mama that she missed the warning signs. Holly backed out of the concession and looked up the phone number for Tate Black's halfway house once she was alone. Once Holly posed as Teresa Donovan over the phone she claimed she demanded to speak with Tate about commodity important. Meanwhile, Tate wrote in his journal as part of his commanded remedy, so he talked about his complicated passions for Holly and considered whether it was stylish to cut her out of his life. Tate got called to the phone and was surprised to find Holly on the line rather of Teresa. Holly was so sorry for what Tate was going through, so he offered a memorial that she had the power to fix it. After Holly explained why she was reluctant to make Nicole fall piecemeal again after everything she'd been through, Tate said he understood. Although Tate preliminarily allowed. Holly was being selfish, he didn't feel that way presently and prompted her no way to come clean about the medicines. Holly sounded equivocal, but she had to hang up in a hurry since E.J. DeMera came home. At Harris Michael's apartment on Wednesday's day's occasion, Xander Cook showed up to contend he was ent the bone. Who fired at him on the lading jetties? Despite Xander's questionable history, he claimed he was a changed man since he wanted to be better for Victoria Horton, Cook and Sarah Horton. Harris invited Xander to have some scotch with him and admitted he believed him. When Xander questioned why, Harris suggested that he knew what it was like to be indicted of commodity you didn't do. At the same time, Harris also knew what it was like to have a complex history and try to rise above it. After Harris scrabbled to find out if Xander knew who set him up, Xander admitted to allowing it was EJ at first and also changing his mind. Xander wondered if Harris recalled anything differently since he was the only viewer, but Harris stayed tight lipped about flashing back Stefan DiMera's guilt. At Eric Brady's apartment on Wednesday's DOL show, Marlena Evans stopped by and was affrighted to learn Eric agreed to let Nicole host the christening without checking with Sloane Peterson Brady first. Eric was repentant about that and explained that there was maybe a thaw in the pressure between Sloane and Nicole grounded on what he witnessed before. Eric also confessed his hunch that Holly was withholding word about New Year's Eve, but Marlena hoped the verity could come out soon. In the city forecourt on Wednesday's day's occasion, Stephanie Johnson checked on Everett Lynch aka Bobby Stein and suggested it be stylish for the spectator to find a new PR establishment under the circumstances. Everett was the bone who hired Stephanie, but he encouraged her to stay on board and just work with Chad DiMera if she didn't want to work with Everett directly. Everett gave Stephanie updates on the weirdness of blocking out any recollections of his father, so she recalled how she asked about his pater. Formerly. Since Everett zoned out at the time, Stephanie assumed it was a sensitive subject and no way asked again. Everett also mentioned that Marlena wanted to try hypnotherapy, but he was spooked of what he might find out. Stephanie allowed. It was clear that Everett did the effects Bobby was indicted of, but she also allowed. Perhaps there was some mitigating factor. It might help Everett to know that he was truly a different person now, so he saw Stephanie's point. Everett also wondered if perhaps it was too important to hope that they might have another chance romantically. Stephanie assured Everett that she was ain't going to vanish on him since he demanded someone to lean on. That said, Stephanie didn't feel all that hopeful about further than fellowship. Still, Stephanie eventually suggested that nothing was insolvable, so that indeed gave Everett some hope as he prompted her not to give up on him. Subsequently, Everett ran into Marlena and admitted he'd enterprises about hypnotherapy, but she explained why it was a good thing and suggested they should move forward. Back with Stephanie on Wednesday's day's occasion, she caught Jada Hunter, Elia Cantu, trying to avoid her and brazened her about the tense vibe. Jada confessed that she saw Stephanie as the other woman, but Stephanie argued they were both victims. Since Stephanie helped break up her marriage, Jada did and have the same perspective. Stephanie no way went digging for the details of Everett's life, so Jada allowed. Perhaps she just did and want to squinch up her own happiness. 
Jada also lashed out over Stephanie giving sympathy to Everett when he was a lying sociopath, so Stephanie was offended over Jada's diatribe. At ST. Luke's Eric set up Nicole lighting a candle and saying a prayer, so he felt like it was fate and had a concession to make. Since Eric saw Nicole helping Sloan calm Jude Brady down, it warmed his heart. It meant a lot to Eric that he could still be musketeers with Nicole, so they both got emotional as she said their fellowship meant a lot to her, too. Days of our lives spoilers say Jude's christening will come with some curveballs, so stick with us for further prognostications on all the shocking news ahead. Holly feels guilty, Xander needs answers, Eric needs help, Everett searches for truth Days of our lives spoilers for Wednesday, March 27 indicate that Holly Jonas is eventually beginning to feel shamefaced over what has happened to Tate Donovan. Xander Cook hoped to be free, but it seems he must clear his name. Eric Brady reaches out to Marlena Evans. Everett Lynch and Stephanie Johnson try to figure out who he really is. Holly Jonas eventually feels shamefaced about Tate Brady's fate Holly could have cleared Tate's name a long time ago. Still, Holly has been too upset about keeping Nicole Walker from figuring out that she was on medicines for some time. Suckers will flash back that Holly offered Tate weed the first day she met him. Holly also got drunk on her birthday as well. Holly is pretending that she has to lie for Nicole's sake. Holly is Nicole's only child and she doesn't want Nicole to be any more worried than she formerly is. Tate indeed got into further trouble by breaking out of his halfway house to supplicate her to tell everyone the verity. Will Holly eventually man up and save Tate? DOL spoilers Xander Cook must prove his innocence Xander believed Harris Michaels would clear his name when he woke up from his coma. Rather, Harris has decided to let Stefan Demera off with a poke on the wrist. Xander has pledged to Sarah Horton that he'll prove himself innocent so he can be home with her and their son. Xander is the person who gave Stefan the idea to frame him for this crime. Was Ent Xander the bone? Who brazened Stefan and indicted him of being behind the calls wanting someone to commit murder? Will Xander flash back his discussion with Stefan and put the pieces together? DOL Holly feels shamefaced, Xander needs answers, Eric needs help, Everett searches for truth days of our lives Eric Brady turns to Marlena Evans Eric has been trying his stylish to make peace between Nicole and Sloan Peterson. Should Eric be more concerned about his woman? S feeling toward Nicole since she stole their baby formerly formerly? How will Eric feel when he discovers that Nicole was right each on, and Sloan is the factual kidnapper? Meanwhile, Stephanie sees just how affected Jada Hunter is by Everett Lynch slash Bobby Stein's appearance in Salem. Stephanie and Everett will keep trying to figure out who he's and why he really changed his name. Will Stephanie and Everett ever get to the bottom of his history and why he forgot each about Jada? Holly steps toward the truth plus, crazy allegations and lies the Wednesday, March 28th occasion of Days of Our Lives recap prints reveal drama unfolded as Holly bothered about Nicole. Plus, Gamutlikite hung in the balance, while con men remained cautious. Recap photo gallery Marlena bothered about Eric, while Nicole bothered about Holly. Tate remained frustrated in the halfway house. Stephanie heeded to Everett and latterly brazen Jada. Eventually, Xander stopped by Harris's. See it all in the print gallery below. Harris and Xander participated a drink. They bandied their once bad opinions, and Xander reiterated that he de no way been dumb enough to shoot a Bobby. Marlena didn't understand why Eric let Nicole throw Jude's christening party. She was especially unhappy to learn he de agreed to it without indeed talking to Sloane. Marlena said all she wanted was for Eric to be happily married.